right guys, I've got the Via 240 here with my RDA on top and I have Cloud Kiss wicked up in there. This is my flavor, strawberry cake batter. So delicious, oh, it's so good. Available at bonsaivapor.com. Use my code TIA20 for 20% off your order of Cloud Kiss or any other flavor on their website. And you can check out this mod, the Via 240 at usvofficial.com all right guys here is the via 240 so you can see right here the design that is on line and on the back you have a little bit about it specifications what's included there is mine i have the joker but you can buy changeable covers for it and it just pops off it's magnetic and you can get the multiple different ones that they have and I'll show you guys the different ones that they have. Here's what it looks like with the two covers off. But they are a nice strong magnet. Here I'm clicking to place. So here's the device. I do like the Joker one the best but also included in the kit. A micro USB to USB cord and in the box we also have this via stay connected all their social media the vo tech warranty card and the via instruction manual so this does take two 18650s and you can see that it says vo via 240 right here we have the fire button the screen the regulatory buttons and a micro usb port at the bottom on the back it is the joker face again that is my son's alarm because i am in the hospital right now trying to film this let me just wait until that alarm goes off this is a spring-loaded 510 pin with stainless steel threading it does display the VO tech via 240 right here so this via 240 does use the acclaimed VO chipset and it is a dual battery device dual 8650s but doesn't come with those it is 32.5 millimeters here 63 millimeters here and 99.5 millimeters tall it does have a 1.9 inch organic led display and goes between 5 and 240 watts but let's pop some batteries in here so i can show you guys the screen and the function of the mod and my son's alarm Maybe I should have just done this video at the Ronald McDonald house. <laughs> After removing the bottom case, the battery hinge, you just kind of push on the VO symbol and pull that open. Then you can see the directions that the battery goes, the plus and minus, and down in there. I don't know how you can see it on camera. It also shows plus and minus. So let me put my batteries in and click back into place. Then the screen automatically turns on and it does that is the wrong way. And it does display the output level, the output mode, the working voltage, the resistance, which is currently zero because there is no atomizer on top, the battery life, voltage of the batteries, which vaping level you're in. If you try to fire it without an atomizer, it says no atomizer. So like I said earlier, it does go from five to two hundred and forty watts by point one increments. If you press and hold, it does do this quickly all the way up to 240. There we go, it does do temperature control as well. To get into temperature control mode, you just press the fire button three times. And now you are in temperature control. In temperature control, it does go from 200 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll see if it round robins to Celsius. It does not round robin to Celsius, but in Celsius it does 93 degrees to 315 degrees. If you press the fire button three times again, you go into bypass mode three times again and you're back in watt. To change between the different temperature control modes, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, you press and hold the up and down regulatory buttons at the same time. So we have stainless steel, nickel, and titanium. And to change into Celsius, you just press the fire button twice. And now you are in Celsius at 315, all the way down to 93 as the lowest. The resistance range supported on this is 0.1 to 2 ohms. Here's a quick peek at the other designs that they have for the 
changeable shells. But let's stick an atomizer on top of this and take it to FaceTime and test it out. Hey guys, editing Tia here and I wanted to say that there are more designs than these four. I just, at the time of filming this video, there were those four. But um, I'm still in the hospital. Or I should say back. We got discharged, now we're readmitted. It's great, so. Um, yeah, there's more designs than just those four. Maybe I'll put like a pop-up on the screen for you guys. So let's vape it. Clouds, bitch, okay. Ooh, but I need to put more e-liquid on that cotton. Holy crap. Let me just mention, I love the feel of these shields. We you feel this? Like, feel this? Like what it feels like. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that is nice. It's, what would you call that? I don't know. It's not slippery. It's not slippery. It's not slick. No. It's not gonna fling out of your hand it's or slip soft. out of your hand. It's, so it's soft, right? You're right though. I was gonna say it's like it's not slippery. Like that is it's it's got a grip. What is that material? I felt it before. I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I mean, it has a good feel in your hand. Right. It's like quality made, no slip grip, but not like grippy. Like it's nice and soft and smooth, almost like a worry stone. Ooh, that's bitch. If this ever gets to be too cloudy for your like line of vision, let me know because it's chucking some clouds paired with this RDA. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm gonna turn it down just a tad, like five watts. Because it is, I really juiced up the wigs, and it is a kind of warm for me. Like it's really powerful, and I'm not like a super powerful vapor. I don't go above like 60. Judge me, don't judge me. I don't care. I could almost make the face that this Joker is doing. Like it comes out my nostrils. I hope that's a good thumbnail. I am noticing this RDA getting hot though. And I don't think I noticed it getting hot on another mod that I had. So I'm not sure. The design is cool. The fact that you can change out the shields is really cool. I mean, there isn't any girly shields, which I would personally like, but like they're pretty badass. Like this is the coolest one in my opinion, but they do have multiple kinds. So again, this mod is available at usvofficial.com. Check it out. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I also have a Patreon account where I do vape related monthly rewards over there. So if that's something that might interest you, you can check the link below. I do vape bundle raffles twice a month where I give away brand new mods, brand new kits, atomizers, e-liquid, hats, shirts, accessories, stickers, all put together in a bundle. So if that's something that might interest you, you can check below. I already said that. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. Like, seriously, thank you so much. Like, the people that are still watching my videos through all of this crazy, through my pregnancy, and this crazy ordeal with my son being in the hospital, and me having to vape in the car because I can't vape at the Ronald McDonald house, and I can't vape in the hospital. Like, thank you guys so much for sticking by me through all of this. Someday, we will be back to normal, but I can't tell you when because I have no idea personally. I think my camera is tilted. I'm so sorry. My camera, meaning my phone, stuck on the, the windshield. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.